All right, uh, we got some confessions here. Virginia's really encouraging you to use the mic drop feature and just, you know, put your voice right there that we can play on the radio. And I do, hey, look, I don't want to discourage that. I just know a lot of people don't want to be that bold. Tell us your secrets. Yes. Uh, so we allow you to text them in or you can remain anonymous and uh, maybe we'll get uh, more people that will take part of it. We do have a good bit of people here today that have uh, submitted some confessions. Thank you very much. Text them into us, 877-979-WRMF, 877-979-9763. I think a lot of parents have probably done this. Don't feel too bad. Uh, they said in their text, I've replaced my daughter's gerbil three times, and she's not yet noticed. Oh. So last year, as part of a school project, she wrote to the Guinness Book of World Records to tell them how old it is. <laughs> Oh, bless her heart. She it her, she's on her third gerbil, but it's living a full life. But she thinks she's got one gerbil that has lived three gerbil lives. <laughs> oh, that's a sweet secret. It is sweet, yeah. Don't tell her till she's like, I don't know, in college. Yeah. This uh, says if one of our children gets invited to a birthday party and I don't like the parents, I make sure the present that we give is something messy like Play Doh or kinetic sand. It makes me happy to think about that awful mom or dad having to clean it up. <laughs> yeah, buy just buy a bunch of glitter. Yeah. <laughs> Every like glitter art and craft kit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of clever. Uh, this text says, uh, I hate my neighbor so much that I used to call him effing Brian under my breath every time he would walk past our house. And then one time we were in Publix, and so was he. We said hello, and then my five-year-old said Mom, is that effing Brian? <laughs> so like, what? What do you mean? You F gotta tell. You gotta tell kids when you need them to keep yeah. their secret because they don't know how. No. They'll just say whatever. They're terrible. Uh, this confession says, "I once chopped some coke off a white plate in my kitchen." That doesn't seem like the right color. Wait, what? I guess they were chopping up Coke on a white plate. What is that? Where you like take the card and put it in lines or something like that? Is that what chopping Coke is? That's that whole Yeah. Thing? Okay. Were they like cutting it? I guess. I don't know all these Coke terms. <laughs> you can you can tell Kevin watches things about Coke and does that do Coke. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't really have all the But he's very Coke curious. I am, I am. So I, I got it. Okay. Chopped Coke. All right. So I chopped Coke on a plate in my kitchen and then I ran out to a bar with a buddy. An hour later, I get a call from my girlfriend. She's in the ER panic because her mouth went numb after making a sandwich. I guess oh. I forgot to rinse the plate off and put it away. <laughs> <laughs> How's that cocaine sandwich? Okay. I that guess would it... do very well in food trucks here in South Florida. <laughs> <laughs> you want that cocaine grilled cheese? <laughs> it would do well. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, somebody confessing here, they said, uh, girlfriend came home. Uh, oh, wait, he says, uh, my wife and I are having a baby girl and are working on names. Whenever she suggests a name I don't like, I just tell her it's the name of a girl I used to date, and then it never comes back up again. That's brilliant. That is actually pretty smart. Oh, dude, you figured out life. Wow. Okay. Impressive work. I mean, might want to steal that hack. Uh, somebody confessing here, they said, I lied about my qualifications in a well-paid job interview. Shortly after I joined, my new boss died suddenly. Oh, damn. And then HR started sniffing around the new employees and asked me for proof of my qualifications. I told them I'd given everything in the original copies to my boss, and I don't know what he did with them. Can you please find them? I never heard another word about it. It's been three years, but I still live in fear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if they truly are your qualifications, they can totally come back to you and say, we can't find them. You just got to reproduce them. Yeah, I would think because you can go to universities and things like that, right? And they'll give you another transcript or whatever it might be that proof that you graduated. I mean, you really only need to you write everything down. And they have to fact check it. Yeah. You just write down where you went, the years, what mm -hmm. you graduated with, all that. They have to fact check it. Okay. Here's a confession from a professor at a university here in South Florida. They don't want to name the one, though. It says, even though term papers have a word count requirement, I never check them. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that happening. You don't really care. You kind of want to get through the day. 
Yeah, maybe they just give you a word count as so that some smart ass doesn't write 10 words and try to hand it in. Would you have to like count each word? Because that sounds like awful. I think what you do, what I always do, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sitting there. I agree. No, you got something online. You can do that. I think you just you just copy the document and you post it in there and tell you how many words it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sitting there counting. <laughs> it does seem like a horrible thing to count. If you roundabout know, like, you know, it's 12 pages long to meet the requirement. I'm gonna let him go anywhere between ten pages and fifteen pages and not count. Well, if I if I didn't want to get through the whole paper and I was already at around six hundred words and I would, I would think, all right, that looks like about another four hundred. Then they got it. I, I <laughs> guesstimate a lot. Yeah, I think that's maybe the good thing if if other professors are like that and you just are, you know, imagine that you're a hundred words short or something like that, and uh. you're, I have no more inspiration and nothing else to write on. Maybe you can turn it in, you get away with it. I would never ding somebody for a hundred words short. Like that's oh. so petty. Yeah. There are teachers that would love to ding the hell out of you. It's so petty. Like, yeah. who cares? If the message is there and they right. wrote a good essay, like, yeah. uh-uh, I'm not counting. Mm -hmm. And uh, another text here, 877-979-WRMF just came in. It says, I have an open relationship with my boyfriend. And I know when he has other people over to his place because I see him playing certain songs on his Google speaker a speaker that is linked to my Spotify account. That's kind of horrifying. I didn't know you could do that. Huh. Okay, so you have a Google speaker and you link it to your Spotify account so you can tell when he's playing music on it. So when I know he's getting some action, I like to add boner-killing songs to his queue like Baby Shark. <laughs> <laughs> diabolical. That is kind of diabolical. But hilarious. Uh, okay, that's kind of fun. <laughs>